Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. 2018's The Golem is, I believe, the first Jewish film made on that most Jewish of legends. Though it is in English, it is an Israeli film, directed by Doran and Yoaf Paz. The film opens by referencing the most famous of Golem stories, on which Paul Wegener's 1920 version is based. Please check out our special on that silent classic. And in fact, that classic story informs this film to a great degree. In terms of its structure, the story it tells and the way it is told, I think it's fair to say there's nothing new here. We should head back now. A Jewish community is under threat from bigoted outsiders. One by one, my people are dropping like flies. While you're kind, is out celebrating. And in desperation, extreme measures are suggested. You propose to create a golem? What is new is the perspective. This golem is not created by a venerable rabbi, but by Hannah, a woman who listens in to the rabbi beneath the floorboards, secretly becoming a scholar in a world from which she is excluded and in which she is devalued. I'm not casting away my wife, Father. Hannah and her husband, Benjamin, are dealing with the loss of a child. However much you study, however many Kabbalah books you read, you will never get an answer to why God took our son. And that further underpins this fresh perspective with the golem that Hannah creates. Also bringing a new twist is the connection between golem and creator. It's human nature to imbue creatures that look human with humanity, and making the golem a child greatly enhances that, particularly to the bereaved Hannah. And golem stories trade on playing that identification against the fact that this creation is dangerous. It is a heartless monster, and we must take it back from whence it came before it is too late. Throwing in the fact that the golem has been created for a reason. He is our protector. Our saviour. But another thing common to many golem stories is the suggestion that when you fight fire with fire, you risk becoming as terrible as what you fight against. And as in Wegener's film, saving the community is only part of the story. I place this film alongside films like Under the Shadow or The Babadook, both of which I like very much, films which use horror to get under the skin of very human subjects, in this case, grief. I found it to be a really well-made and engaging film with excellent performances, particularly from Hanny Furstenberg as Hannah and Kirill Chernyakov, whose blank expression makes the golem somehow sympathetic and threatening. It's an interesting and intelligent take on the legend that manages to be very faithful to the spirit of its source, while also modern in the best way possible. I think it's very unlikely to supplant the iconic primacy of Wegener's film, but I think it can sit comfortably alongside it. It's not the most commercial of horror films, but the audience for whom it's made will enjoy it. I certainly did. Thanks for watching. You can check out our special about Paul Wegener's three Golem films here. Have you seen the 2018 film? Did you enjoy it and how does it compare to the 1920 vintage? Let us know in the comments below.